Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. I just want to say a massive thank you again. Um, let me know if you are liking the premieres. I'm putting all of my videos out on premieres lately so that we can all have a good old chin wag in the live chat as the video plays. So let me know what you think. In this video, I'm going through the process of creating Jesmonite paint. For those of you who have taken up Jesmonite or are already Jesmonite um, artists, I hope that you find this helpful. I actually read up on the Jesmonite website not long ago that you can create a paint using the sealer and the pigment. And I was so excited to try it. I actually bought a bottle of the acrylic sealer because I'm almost out of my little pouch and it actually says it on the bottle can be used as a wash and yeah these are the items I made I actually posted them on my Instagram I didn't film them because again I was just relaxing in my craft room creating this whole new range of calming blues and blue greys this one here caught the eye of a few of you and you asked me how I created that pattern and this video I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. What I'm not going to be able to tell you is the exact ratio so if any of you are thinking like what ratio do I use, how much sealer do I need for how much pigment, honestly I just I just don't know that information is not out there but I'm telling you now I played it by ear and I love the results so I think if you want to start creating your own paint then it's just a case of seeing how it goes. For me it was 99.9% sealer and just one or two drops of pigment because that pigment goes a long way. So what I'm doing here I'm making up three colours, I'm sticking to the calming blues, the, the blue greys and this is my paint base so I've got the sealer already in there. I'm putting one drop of blue in each cup and then I'm going to basically have a play around with that colour to make sure I get the colours that I want. So into that blue I'm then going to drop white to make them all a shade lighter which is what you see me doing here. I am actually not putting just drops in, I actually poured quite a lot of white into each colour. I'm not so bothered about the white. It was the blue, I didn't want the blue to to go super dark um, but the white is now going to kind of bring that all back and tone it all down yeah so I'm really just loving loving these pale blues next up is the black now I am going for tiny teeny and I mean teeny tiny I'm using a cocktail stick I'm not even dropping I'm dabbing it on the side of the lollipop stick to just to see what this turns out like you'll see how far this pigment goes guys it goes so far look at this color oh my gosh these colors they just remind me of calm oceans oh I just love them I could honestly paint my whole house in these colors I just got some gorgeous tones of the blue with the gray and just yeah Anyway, I'll stop talking about the colour. I'm just going to show you the colours out here now on a piece of paper so you can kind of get a really good idea for the three colours I ended up with. Again, your colour choices, you might not even like blue, but these are the colours I'm going for in today's video. Have a play. All I can say is, my advice would be, minimal drops of colour at any one time. So the first one I'm going to show you is how I painted actually in the silicon mould to get the paint to come off on the Jesmonite. I cannot lie, this was a fluke for me. I've tried this twice since and it has not worked. I don't know what I did that day. I don't know what was so special about it or what was different. But I think it was the timing, so fingers crossed. I'm going to do it again in this video and then leave it around about 15 minutes before I pour the Jesmonite. I think I left it too long before so yeah fingers crossed all I'm doing is swiping there's nothing fancy here I have to just let you all know now I cannot paint for anything okay so <laughs> this is definitely not a how to paint video this is how to make the paint video um so yeah we, we do not pass judgment on my painting skills but I have to say I'm still loving these swipes. There was no rhyme or reason to it. I was just swiping it. Now you can see here how the silicon is repelling the paint and that is what gives you part of that pattern and I absolutely love it. For the dark colour, I'm just going with a thinner brush and yep, yeah, straight through the middle. No rhyme or reason. I'm just showing you this is how it's done. 
Fingers crossed it works. I'm gonna leave this now for around about 15 minutes before pouring the Jesmonite in. For the other molds, I'm using these from AliExpress. I'm gonna link them below and hopefully, yeah, we'll carry on. So I am not gonna talk through the weighing, the measuring, the mixing, the coloring in this video because I've done that in previous videos. This is all about how to make the paint. So if you are more interested in how to get to this stage where you can create a jesmonite, then please do check out my other videos. I'm gonna link one here and that is my beginners, how everything you need to know about jesmonite from A to Z. So yeah, go check that out if you want to know more about it. In other news, um, Virginia, who you would have all heard me talk about in the beginning, in the early days, she's an amazing artist um, who I met on TikTok and she actually has an incredible website. She sells a lot of Jesmonite work. Virginia has actually been um, teaming up with Aqua Resin in the USA. So we all know that Aqua Resin is the equivalent of Jesmonite in the USA. I did not know when I first started that Jesmonite is not available in the USA and I'm so sorry. I uh, still feel bad about it. I still feel really bad about it. But you guys do have aqua resin and I have been told it is very similar, very, very similar powder and liquid combo. Anyway, Virginia has actually teamed up with aqua resin to offer courses and packs to anyone in the USA who is interested in trying it out. So please do check out her website. I'm going to link it down below. If you're interested, go check it out for sure. In other exciting news regarding Claire's Crafty Corner, I actually set up Patreon, okay? I set it up a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about doing it for months, but I've been way too scared. And my lovely friend Wendy at Toonpish, she said she would look over it for me, make sure it's all okay before I launch it. And Wendy signed up, which, <laughs> which made me launch it a week or two earlier than I wanted to, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy I did now because I now have seven patrons and I cannot believe it. So massive shout out to all seven of you. If you are interested in becoming a patron, please check out the description box. I'm going to write a little bit in there about what it's for. And yeah, I'm excited. Okay, moment of truth for this one. This is the only one I need to demold that has already been painted. So we shall see if it's worked like my original one did. I'll be frustrated if it hasn't because then I really don't know what I did or what I've done wrong. Yeah, there's a cup. Okay, I don't know if you can see under here, but it's trying to pull it away again. It's trying. Some of it has stayed. So I think if I can get down in there and encourage it to stay and encourage this to stay. Yeah, it's not. Well, this will stay because I'll get that back down. This one has come out perfect. So you tell me <laughs> what I did differently between this one and these ones. This is the problem I had with the other few that I tried, um, which I just was so frustrated at. But that's okay because this is sealant, which means I can actually get this. I can push it down and get it to stay. And it will stay there forever because I will seal on top. So it's not a complete disaster. Um, unlike the few I tried afterwards where they pretty much just yeah the whole thing just peeled out but this is ideal this is exactly what I achieved in my very first try I can see it peeling up at the edges so yeah this might not be the most ideal method honestly um, the difficulty is now that it's not going to, you're not going to be able to get this wash effect by, I'm guessing, by painting straight on the Jesmonite. My guess is it's going to be more of a block opaque colour because it really is acting like a, like an acrylic paint if you like. Um, so what I'm going to do now, just for the sake of the video, we will peel that back. I will get my Jesmonite sealer mix and I'll get it in here straight away um, just so that we can get this stuck down. Now... If you did see my sealing video, you are meant to wait 24 hours to seal. But sometimes, following the rules, I don't. Um, but ideally, guys, you really want to. Because what, what I don't want to happen is, I don't want anything to go wrong with your creations. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then you come back and say what well, Claire said. You know, so um, yeah, follow the, the ideal advice, which would be 
seal after 24 hours, sand after 24 hours. So I have now pushed that down and I know that that's going to stay there. Um, but it is going to create some texture on the surface. If you're okay with that, then I'm okay with that. So what I'll do now, I will wait for this to fully dry and then I will seal it like the others. But the exciting part is now going to use paint brushes and my handmade paint on the actual items themselves, which I must demold first. So this is where the disclaimer at the beginning of the video comes in, okay guys? I cannot paint for Toffee, however, you know, I'm just here to show you how to make the paint. So we are not in hysterical laughter right now, all in the chat. <laughs> like, why, why is she painting the top of a pineapple? Like, I've got no idea, guys. I was going for botanical, that's all I knew. I was going for this calming... <laughs> Oh, do you know what? Even doing a voiceover on my own video is actually quite painful. Bear with me, though. Bear with me. It went from looking like a, a, a painful botanical piece to um, it evolved. It evolved into this under the sea world of coral and yeah, yeah. I'm trying. I'm really trying. The point is, I was so dis. I was like, guys. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I can't. I really can't. And the more I put on, the more I kept going, the more I liked it. It it evolved into this... Yeah. I don't know what it became. I don't know what it became. It became a multi-layered, yeah, multi-textured something. There's a word. I don't know. The point is, don't give up. Okay, because I actually love the result that this has created. Definitely will not be everybody's cup of tea, but honestly, yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it screams, it screams garden, and that is what I'm happy about. So yeah, that is the first attempt ever, ever, at painting on Jesmonite. This is more my level, guys. Polka dots. <laughs> Now we're doing polka dots, okay? This is something I can do. Now, bearing in mind, if you go and use this paint method, there is a chance you are going to be left with texture on your piece. Excuse my shaky camera there. There is a chance you will be left with texture. These will dry raised. They're not going to be completely flat against your surface. You will feel them. And if you're okay with that, then, then this method could definitely work for you. So I just carried on using two of the colours. I, I don't think I used all three and even this wasn't even that long ago and my memory won't even let me go there. But yeah, I just used two of the colours, carried on, adding dots throughout and I love it. So with the pot I had some leftover jesmonite and I'm now using that jesmonite paint to create drips around the edge, fully inspired by burning a candle. <laughs> <laughs> this actual this actual pot can be used for tea lights because jesmonite is fireproof. It's not just heat proof, it's fireproof according to their website. They do make buildings out of jesmonite, so it does have to be it does have to be tough. So these would make gorgeous little tea light holders. Hear me out, I'm thinking Halloween. I'm thinking if that pot was black and that paint was red, that would look pretty cool or black and lime green, kind of like, yeah, I'm thinking Halloween, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm loving it. I just kept going all the way around until I had pretty much covered the whole top and yeah, created the, oh guys, I just thought of Christmas. <gasps> How gorgeous would that look at Christmas? And that could be snow coming over the edge. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> dragging myself back into the month of May. I don't know where my brain goes sometimes, honestly. This is why I shouldn't do voiceovers as well. This is why, because I just I end up in another place. But yeah, Christmas. Oh, so pretty. So for the coaster, I just decided to go with a wash. Three lines, all of the colours next to each other, in a no rhyme or reason, just to show you that this is what it might look like. Again, if you've got more pigment in there, you might be able to get it a bit more opaque. I'm just not really sure how to do that at the moment without it being super, super textured. But having said that, I kind of like this pattern. It reminds me of the ocean and a little bit mountainous. 
for the final for the final one i'm actually going to try and recreate this swipe into a jesmonite tray that has already been made so my plan is to get the paint and almost use it like a dry brush so I'm gonna dip it into the pigment I'm gonna use this fat brush again I'm gonna dip it into the pigment and then I'm gonna kinda like get most of the paint off of it before I swipe it so here I am just dabbing it and dabbing it off and yeah I'm just gonna go for it and it's only when you turn it around can you really see because it's so it's such a similar color it's just a pale gray going on there so you can get this dry brush effect on your Jesmonite if that is also what you're going for. You could create some kind of like contextual kind of patterns around your pieces if you wanted to go for one big range of a similar pattern. Um, but yeah, it's not filling my heart like it does when I paint directly into the silicon. But I yeah, I just still like it. I don't know what it is about just having something that is so free and doesn't mean anything you know because you just you've just you've, you've created it and therefore it is art and it all depends on um what you define art to be and i love it already so yeah there you are we've got what it looks like in the mold what it looks like directly on the jesmonite and here is the collection as a whole Again, we are not judging the painting skills. We are here to learn about the paint itself. But yeah, I absolutely love it. It will create texture. It will give you texture in your pieces. Um, yeah, love it. I hope you've found this video helpful. If you've stayed to the end, thank you so much because this is like a whopping 16 minutes in. You're amazing. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to absolutely everybody who watches my videos. You're all amazing. And I will see you in the next video, which will be making a jesmonite clock and drilling into jesmonite and how easy or difficult that is. So hopefully you will find that helpful as well. And I will see you there. Bye everyone.